Okay, today we're unboxing the Focusrite Scarlet 2i4. This is the next gen. This is the um, second generation of this um, type, the 2i4. And the 2i4 is actually um, a newer brand <laughs> to the 2i2, which you guys probably could have guessed already. And first of all, I know there's this bright red color, which I really, really enjoy, and the red cable. I think, yeah, this is the USB cable, so I can have to plug this into my computer. And this is the actual um, audio adapter itself. I forgot the name for a second. So, you know, let's open it normally without any aggression so I don't damage the thing. I would really like to keep this intact because the audio got sent it to me apparently. So, as you guys see, very nice aluminum cover. Oh yeah, sound premium. Don't want to get my fingerprints on it. Again, big logo, very, what do you call it? <laughs> the, com the company is not very modest about it. Okay, now we're done with the beautiful design and on to how this thing actually works or how you can actually use it. So as you guys can see here, there are two input panels for both XLR and um, the guitar jacks. So you can just plug them in on either one and this audio adapter adapter will automatically adapt to it. That's why it's called an adapter. Haha. <laughs> and then you can see the knobs here. These are the gain knobs. In case something is too quiet, you can turn this up. Or too loud, you can turn it down. And if some audio signal is so loud that even on the quietest is way too loud, you can click this button here, the pad. This will automatically turn the sound down 10 decibels. Which, oh my god, Ben Ben! Okay, <laughs> automatically turn it down 10 decibels, which, which, which should cope with the loudness. Okay, now, here you can see this click. This is phantom power. I know some audio adapters doesn't actually automatically come with phantom power, so this is really good. You can, this, you can click this if a microphone needs phantom power, which most do, which most does. So, Again, if you need it, just click this and it'll be, it'll be fine. Now we have the switches, as you guys can see here. On, the, on one side it says stereo and on, on the other side it says mono. Meaning if the switch is flipped towards stereo, then jack input 1 will go out input 2. Input 2 will go out output 2. Because the because this is a 2i4, so he has four outputs, meaning the, fir the first input will go out both output 1 and output 2, and input 2 will go out both output 3 and output 4. Wow, that was confusing. So, um, if you switch it to stereo, then all of the sound will go equally out of all the outputs. Man, that was a hustle. Okay. Now you have the, what do you call it, um, the immediate output, so you can listen to it with your headphone. Many people will love this feature because, again, some audio adapter doesn't have this feature, so if you do want to listen to your own voice through the microphone, you have to install programs, and those programs will cause a lot of latency, which most people would not like, and this will be awesome for you. This is the audio gain for the for your headphone. And talking about headphones, you can see this. This is also the man. Be quiet. This is this is also um, this is also for the playback, what whatever you call it, for your headphone. So if you if it's on wait if, yeah if it's on this side, meaning you would get direct output from. The thing, the audio quality might not bang bang, I swear to God. The audio quality might not be as good, but you can hear it. But if you turn it all the way to the other side, you might get a bit of delay, but you get the full sound quality of what you are actually recording. So now we are on to this knob. This is the knob to control the back. Those two, those two are for really loud speakers that need a lot of power. So um, this knob, Controls the gain of um, those two outputs, and oh, did I mention 
that way, the gain ops will lit red when they detect the audio um, um, decibel is too high. You don't have to worry about it yourself when it detects, oh, uh, the audio quality, the audio level is way too loud and it will light red to tell you to turn it down or kick the pad, which is really helpful. Okay, now we are on the back. It might not be as interesting as the front, but it is still necessary. So, as you guys can see here, these are the outputs for the um, input 1 and input 2. So, you know, if you want to monitor it or record it, you can use this. But mainly, if you want to record it to a computer, you will use this cable, as I showed earlier. This is the USB cable that you can plug in here. And this you have, and this will out go Abby, but Abby, it just called you Abby. Never mind. Okay, and this can plug right into your computer, getting the perfect sound. And over here we have the MIDI input and MIDI output. I mean the other way around. I get confused. I don't know why one will use this, but I know some people might use it, so, and I don't really care. I can't judge you. And as the, as as I said here, these two. Are for really loud, powerful speakers that need more sound and more power to drive it. So you will use those too. So I guess this is it for this video on reviewing the Focusrite Scarlett. Um, on my next video, I would be doing a sound test on this with uh, my, the, my, the new microphone I got, the WA87, to see how it sounds like. So um, stick around and goodbye.